Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Monday, eight or April eight or April tenth, two thousand twenty-three. Sorry, I saw that it was eight forty, and for some reason, I wanted to say eight. I had that stuck in my head for some reason. April tenth, two thousand twenty-three. This Monday morning episode of GMWF. Thank you for tuning in here on uh, Spreaker or wherever you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcasts. Hope everyone is having a great morning so far and hope everyone had a great Easter weekend. Monday night, raw tonight. And got uh, this Sunday night Impact Wrestling Rebellion live on pay per view. But last night was WWE Superstar Sunday, the return of it after the, the smart decision took WrestleMania weekend off and did not have any episodes. First was Biography, WWE Legends, The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, which I thought this was a really good one, I thought. And a lot of it was stuff that I have heard before that's in the WWE uh, DVD they came out with uh, 2006 I believe it was some interviews with Vince McMahon that were used for the DVD and some interviews with Dusty that were on there and also it looked like some clips of probably his last interview that they did with him at the Performance Center, or maybe, uh, actually not the Performance Center, I take that back, maybe Full Sail, when they were still running there, back when, uh, because you can see the NXT stuff in the background, so that was probably his last interview that he did with WWE, or recorded, I should say, and I remember... His, the tribute video WWE came out with at the end of it there's a clip of him standing in the NXT ring there at Full Sail and he says happy trails till we meet again and that's what they closed the tribute with and so that might have been around the time when they recorded that final interview and one thing I didn't know, though, is that early, I don't remember hearing about before, is he said that his father passed away the day before Dustin was born. I don't remember hearing about that. And they did talk about his time growing up as a kid, and then, of course, getting into wrestling, and then teaming with Dick Murdoch as the Texas Outlaws and of course uh, WCW and his run there and then Dusty Rhodes Bruce Pritchard talked about Vince McMahon seeing him and then saying that he saw him in polka dots and then that's when the yellow polka dots started and it showed him with Sapphire and then when he went back to WCW also when Dustin Rhodes got into wrestling and when it showed when Dustin started the Goldust character in WWF and of course Cody it, it talks about 
Dustin also having uh, being upset when he was a kid about his father being on the road all the time wishing he could see him more and they did show highlights from Battleground when they were having that feud between the roads and the authority and Dusty was in their corner and the three of them celebrating together which Dusty wasn't really in the best of health at that time of course I know I'm going all over the place here but they showed 2007 here in Detroit at the Fox Theater when he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame and then when he passed away I'm so kind of surprised though they didn't mention the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Tournament that they've been doing on NXT I thought they might have um, mentioned that real quick at the end they did show the statue that they have at Fan Access and Cody coming back to WWE which actually they even showed a little bit of that at the beginning when it first started and then at the end so that was the biography of the American Dream Dusty Rhodes if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend check it out definitely worth watching and one of the I would put up there I'm not sure exactly where I would rank it, but I would probably say top five uh, in episodes of Biography. I know I said the Kane one, I thought, was one of the best ones. And I'd put the Dusty one right up there with it. It's a very good episode of Biography WWE Legend last night. And then right after that was Legend, or excuse me, Rivals, and The Undertaker at first, Randy Orton, was the subject of this week's episode, which was pretty good. I'm going to say it was real great, and but if you have, if you have some free time, have a chance to check it out. I'd say go for it, but of course they covered, like, I thought, of course, WrestleMania 21, the legend killer angle, and when Cowboy Bob Orton Jr. got involved and they put the Undertaker in the casket, set it on fire, so it was an okay episode. Next weekend, I'm not sure just yet who is going to be on. I'll have to check that out. But there should only be a few weeks left of Biography and Rivals. Because April 30th, the new season of Most Wanted Treasures. And the series premiere of Stone Cold Takes on America will be debuting on A&E April 30th this Sunday I usually recap the shows the Monday after but next week will be a little different because I will be recording them because this Sunday as I mentioned earlier is Impact Wrestling's Rebellion pay-per-view so not sure when just yet when I'll be able to watch Superstar Sunday shows. But definitely looking forward to Rebellion on Sunday night. And that's all for the Monday episode of GMWF. Once again, thank you everyone for tuning in, whether you're listening on Spreaker or somewhere else. Hope everyone has a great Monday today. Hope everyone enjoys 
Monday Night Raw tonight. Hopefully, new episodes of 360 Wrestling Fanatic will be coming at you. And tomorrow, the Tuesday morning episode of GMWF. But until then, keep watching Pro Wrestling, everyone.